You're very welcome back. Now, all month we're focusing on festive favourites that will take you through the season. And this morning, Martin O'Donnell from the 12 Hotel in Barney County, Galway, is looking after the soup option on Christmas Day. What have you in store for this? I'm telling you now, it smells delicious, whatever you're doing already. Good morning. Good uh, morning is right. so much. Um, very simple soup, perfect for Christmas Day. Really easy to make, even, even the day before. You could have it all prepped and ready to go. So, ideal. So, we have an organic celeriac and chestnut soup with smoked pancha and then we have some lovely cheesy buttermilk scones to serve on the side as a little dip. Now talk to us about the celeriac now because before we came on air you were telling me how important it is to get to spend a bit more money on, on the right ingredients. I find it very important that if you buy like a 50 cent celeriac your mm. soup is going to taste like a 50 cent soup so I would encourage to go out to the farmers market get organic if you can and if not get good quality Irish celeriacs. It's really it makes such a difference it really does make a huge difference to the, to the flavour. The closer to home it's grown, the better it is, basically. 100%. And it's, and it's great for the economy, for the environment, support all the farmers and all that. Coming up to Christmas, it's a great boost for the nation. So how are so, we starting off with our base here? So what I have in the pot is I've sautéed some pancetta first, so lovely smoked bacon pieces mm -hmm. that is in the pan. First they've come out, now I've put in my onions or shallots, whichever, and a good little knob of butter. So they come out? You just So the bacon the has come out, yeah, keeping the flavour in the pot, and then I'm putting in some chopped onions and butter. Very That's simple. It. Very simple. Simples. We're going to move on to this celeriac. So this is one of the ways we cook the, the celeriac in the hotel all the time. Very simple. Take the whole celeriac, give it a little wash if it is dirty, into tin foil, good knob of oil. What sort of oil are you using there with that now? Whatever you have in the press. Cook. Anything at all doesn't really matter. Yeah. A plain and simple one. Vegetable yeah. or a rapeseed either. Yeah. So we're going to put some herbs. So we have tarragon, we have some thyme, and a little dash of salt and pepper. Yeah. Very simple. Wrap it up. Wrap it up in tin foil. One layer of tin foil is enough. But you're having two just in I case. I have two just <laughs> in case. And what it does is it steams the celeriac in the celeriac steam. So it keeps all the celeriac -y in the tin foil. So rather than boiling it like yeah. we were chatting earlier on as well. Um, it keeps all the lovely celeriac in the in the tin foil. Yeah, so how long do you have to uh, have that in the oven for <laughs> About now? that size, so it's it's for me it's quite a small celeriac, about an hour. Yeah. But again, it's soup, you can't overcook it. So yeah. if it's an hour and 10 minutes, an hour and 20 minutes, perfect. If you're cooking dinner tonight and you're making soup tomorrow, cook the celeriacs tonight while the oven is on, make the soup tomorrow. Perfect, perfect. perfect. So, so once we have it out then, hot. We're just going to pop that into the oven. So we open it up and you've got that lovely celeriac steam coming up and it's nice and soft like a potato would be if you're checking to see is a potato cooked. We're going to put that onto our board and it's lovely and soft and tender. So we peel it just yeah. like an orange. We top and tail it like that. Peel it off nice and easy. And it's very flavorful, isn't it? Because that ingredient on its own stands up for this soup really. It's absolutely delicious. And even yeah. now that nutty flavor that's coming off it is really delicious. Now, if you had a vegetarian coming for dinner, you could actually cut a lovely thick slice like that and use it as a celeriac steak and use this for your soup. So, you know, if you cook two... Celeriacs, aren't yeah. you very clever so now? It's, it's I, don't a, think, I wouldn't think beyond cauliflower steak for that sort of stuff, but, but yeah. But it's such a simple way of maybe char grilling it after with a lovely poached egg, a little bit of oil and some watercress, and you've got a delicious dinner for um, a vegetarian. So, again, planning, planning, planning. It's all about the planning. So, so chop it up, doesn't really matter which way, you know, it's just chop it all up. Roughly chopped and pop it in. Chop it in, in it goes, nice and simple. And as I said, it doesn't, you can't really overcook it. Yeah. So we have some veg stock here, in it goes also, the 600 mils. So you just want to cover it, yeah. you know. Um, and if you want as well, some lovely cream. And we're going to bring that up to the boil, it's not going to take long, maybe 10 or 15 minutes, because it is already, um, the yeah. celeriac is cooked. We're going to put in a few little bits of tarragon, stalks and all and some thyme, and that's just enhancing and the flavour. keep that the on the hob there for a yeah, while. and that's going to bubble away there, lovely. Can't have soup without scones, though. Can't have soup without scones. So what kind very of delight nice. have you now? So this one is a very, it's a savoury scone mix, mm -hmm. okay? So we have flour, baking powder, recipes online, it's at the end of the show also, and butter, good quality Irish cheese. I'm yeah. using Kyle Moore, it's a local to us, we use it all the time in the hotel, but Parmesan, something similar to Parmesan. Has to be Parmesan. hard cheese, yeah? Has to be hard, yeah. but again, try and support Irish if you can. You don't need a lot, two or 300 grams. Pop down to your local shop. So what I'm doing is just rubbing it in to the flour. 
I remember that from home economics, actually. Yeah. I did bake once upon a time. Not very old, but I tried. Right, OK. <laughs> um, and again, if there is little bits of butter left, it doesn't matter because it's going to make that, when you bite into that scone, you get a little lump of butter. Oh. Now, you wouldn't want to be concerned about calories for any of this stuff now, with all the butter and the cream and everything else, but sure, it's Christmas. That wasn't in the memo. There was nothing <laughs> about calories in that memo. And we've oh. got, again, good quality buttermilk. So very simple, flour, buttermilk, Does butter. it have to be buttermilk? Yes. Has for to be me, buttermilk. Yeah. 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 And also our cheese. So you have the grated cheese. Very so simple. How, how much cheese now needs to go There's into There's 100 that? grams into there. So we have about 450 grams of flour, we have our baking powder, we have 250 mils of buttermilk and our cheese. More cheese, more, more cheese. flavour. Yeah, more cheese the better. So Excellent. you give it a good mix like this and it's, it's just a simple way. It's a lovely way of getting the kids involved as well, you know, so they can do all this mixing. Might be handier if we had a little bit bigger bowl. Yeah, but sure. We, 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 I think we've once prepared earlier anyway that we, we can have, go just... Of course you're making an awful mess, Martin, genie. Uh, that's why we have the gloves on. <laughs> so basically, you just get it in, get your hands in. The yeah. less you work it, the lighter they become. Okay. They stay lovely and light. So all you have to do then is throw it out onto the table and you mix them. So basically, you can put it out on the table. Yep. If there's any little bits of flour at the bottom, you just work it while it's on the table. Yeah. So it's a lovely way okay. of getting into it. It will come together, so you can see it is coming to oh. coming to there. <laughs> there goes the tinsel. <laughs> And you pass it down like that. And you cut and it you into your see, shapes yeah. and then into the, into the oven. Exactly. Right. So we have our little cutter there and away it goes. And away so. it goes. Now, we go to the important bit now, because this is the bit Simon normally gets to do and I'm getting a go of it now. The soup is done, ready. It's been bubbling now the for soup, you. This, yes, you've made this earlier. Exactly. So we haven't, um, we haven't brought the mixers or anything like that. Yeah. But again, it's quite simple. All you have to do is a little stick blender and blend it away until it's as smooth as you can make it. And it is so creamy looking. It is oh so my creamy. God, it's gorgeous. So very simple. All in all, it doesn't take very long to do it all once it's you It's such a simple one. And as I said, you could have it ready the night before. So you have that lovely celeriac soup. We have some bacon to pop on top. Little bit of bacon on top. Ah, so you keep the bacon. You keep the bacon keep and you bacon. put it back on. Oh, some, okay. some chestnuts. So you get that lovely Christmassy. A little drizzle of rapeseed oil. So this one, I know earlier on we weren't talking about the quality of the oil, yeah. but this one is really amazing. And then it's served with your little cheesy scones on the side. So it's absolutely delicious. And they're perfect. tiny little ones, aren't they? They are That's small. Lovely. I'm going to have a little taste of that in a minute. Now, there's full recipe details are up on our website. Or of course, Martin will be working across the festive season. So you can just call into him in the 12 Hotel in Galway to sample his wares for yourself.